I like people, I would do. Um, I haven't made a talking video <laughs> in ages, so I thought I would make one for the people that, you know, subscribers, people out there that watch my videos for me and not other, other things on my channel. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd make one today. How is everyone? I hope everyone is all well. Especially the people I talk to in comments and stuff like that. If I don't reply to certain certain comments, um, it's because I'm a lazy bastard, to be fair. And I don't know if you get it, but I mean, I'm on my PS3, and I don't get my comments come up. It's strange. It's I like to click it, and it doesn't give me the option. If you've got a PS3, you know what I'm talking about. You click it. And then you get my channel, video manager, inbox, settings, and then sign out. Might be something else in between that, I don't know. But, yeah. But with mine, it goes into two. Two different... It's, it's weird. I mean, I'm just waffling, but that's half the reason why I don't reply to comments. Um, so I apologise if anyone has left me a comment. And I haven't replied to it. This is only the last couple of months, two to three months, but I haven't really been on YouTube, uh, to be fair. I haven't really been leaving comments or liking videos or subscribing to people or anything like that. Uh, yeah. Anyway, back to what this video is about, which is wrestling, specifically TNA. Now, TNA. It has still got the potential to be a great wrestling company. But I went on record on one of my videos. Some of you may have seen it. Some of you may have not. And I said that it was a good thing that Hogan is joining TNA. And I actually said it's one of the best things that's happened that year. Was it? 2010, 2011, whenever it was, pretty sure it was 2010. And man, do I regret saying that because the company is slowly declining, slowly getting worse, slowly becoming more like WCW in a lot of ways. I know it will never be as bad but then in some ways WCW was better because you had guys like Kurt Hennig and Bret Hart the Macho Man uh, a few other people don't get me wrong I'm no by no means a WCW fan in the slightest um, I was WWF through and through how things have changed now Yeah, it's a shame, but there you guys, one of them things, isn't it? But yes, Hogan Sting, for the past year, if not longer, involving themselves in and around the main event and the world title. Especially now, it's, 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 it was okay for a little while. I mean, Jeff Hardy having it, I didn't like. You know, Hardy having the world title, I didn't like that at all, but... You know, it's, he's popular and all the rest of it. And he has some pretty spot, pretty good spot matches, if you like. You know, the ladder match he had with Austin Aries was pretty good. And the match at Band for Glory with Austin Aries was, well, to be fair, one of the best matches I've seen in a long time. Um, and that's still... But I, put, I personally put that down to Austin Aries because I see Jeff Hardy wrestle other people and it's you know it hasn't got the same flow the same energy just it's, it was different Austin Aries he just put everything into that match I feel and he made Jeff Hardy look good and that was that was one of their matches that I mean I knew Austin Aries was already good and he was one of my favourites anyway before that match um, but that was 
the one where I was like, he's really good. You know, if he can carry Jeff Hardy. I'm not, I'm not saying Jeff Hardy is completely shit. He's just overrated, you know, and shouldn't be a world champion, I don't think. That's just my opinion. You know? I know a lot of people like him, probably a lot more than people that don't like him. Um, but, you know, it's just one of them things. Um, yeah, so recently with Hogan and Sting, you had uh, Sting uh, wrestling Matt Morgan on Impact. The recent Impact just gone. It was today, Thursday. It was last week's. The one where he number one contender match um that was fucking awful that is oh man that was a terrible wrestling match oh I can't wrestling it wasn't wrestling it was, that was shit oh man and and we're gonna get to see Bully Ray and Sting at Slammiversary oh man I bet you're looking forward to that god oh, that's gonna be brilliant isn't it that's going to be like one of the greatest matches of all time, isn't it? That's going to be so good. You know, it pissed me off even more though if Sting won. I kind of see it happening because by the time Slammiversary, Slammiversary comes around, what's that? Three to four months from when Buddy Ray won the title to Slammiversary? Three to four? I think it's only three, but still. Three months. It wouldn't surprise me if Sting won at all. It wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. I would. Uh, I would hate it if Sting wins the world title at Slammiversary. TNA can go fuck itself. I'm done with TNA if Sting wins that title match. Don't get me wrong. As I said, Austin Aries is a great wrestler. So is Bobby Roode. So is Eric Young. So are other people that they've let go. You know, people that they've just... Oh yeah, no, we don't need you. You're too short, you're too small. Oh, and you mocked the Macho Man. Oh no, sorry, you mocked Hulk Hogan, pretended to be Macho Man. We can't have that, can we? Fucking Hulk Hogan. You know, I've... <sighs> I respect professional wrestlers... I really do. I mean, the amount of dedication, hard work, you know, bumps, injuries, working through injuries. You know, a lot of people say, oh, wrestling's fake. But when you get injured and you're wrestling with pain in your bicep or your shoulder or your ankle or your knee or your neck or your back, yeah, it's not so fake then, is it? When you've got a broken neck and you've had two months. You've had your operation and you're back to wrestling. And, and the doctors have told you, you need to take at least a year off. You know, and wrestlers go and have their surgery, come back. You know, it's that, that to me is... Like, how can you not respect that? How can you not admire that and be in awe, in awe of that? You know? Because wrestlers do it on a daily basis. John Cena's doing it at the moment. Yeah? I'm not a John Cena fan. I don't... If I met him, I would shake his hand and I'd say, nice to meet you. I wouldn't treat him like a, a prick or, a, you know, an asshole. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that to John Cena. I would shake his hand. I'd be glad to meet John Cena. I understand the gimmick. I understand that John Cena is for the kids. So in that sense, he's good for the era that they're in at the moment. I'm not sticking up for John Cena. I just understand the guy. I just understand the gimmick and, you know, the business side of it. I understand that and... I respect him for it because he's stuck to it, you know. And then when the fans boo, he just smiles and lets him get on with it. And then he finishes and then he carries on with his promo. That's what I like about John Cena because he just he doesn't really let it get to him. 
and I think that's just a testament to the man himself. Right, WrestleMania. Um, I didn't watch all of it because I didn't want to. I did see The Undertaker versus CM Punk, and that was a really good match. It wasn't nothing like it wasn't like wow, wow, it was wow, match of the year or match of greatest matches of all time. No, not by any means, but it was a good match. Um, yeah, Undertaker won. Um, I didn't really expect anything less. I don't really believe anybody should beat The Undertaker for that streak, even if it was The Undertaker's last match. I don't think anybody should beat him for for that streak. You know, because... It just shouldn't. <laughs> it wouldn't be right. And the only real person that could do it, or who should do it, is John Cena. But if he did win and ended the streak I don't I, I don't think that would do John Cena any favours at all really in the long run I don't I don't see that how that would help his career <laughs> yeah and I wasn't bothered about any of the other matches really what was the oh yeah John Cena and The Rock couldn't give a fuck about that um yeah see to me that's that's the thing that really annoyed me about it because you had CM Punk they needed to do it they needed to do what they did with CM Punk and it was good what they did with him um but the way he lost the belt you know it was kind of shit really the whole Royal Rumble thing it was just that was really really shit I saw that match as well, but I don't know about it. And that was that was a terrible match. That was really bad. CM Punk carried the rock through that match. The whole leg thing, sending his leg, telling the story. That's what a wrestler is, mate. Um, but yeah, I mean, just you know, just the fact that he had it for, for as long as he did. The fact that he's in the top ten of longest reigning world champions of all time, and then loses it the way he did and then The Rock loses it at Wrestlemania to John Cena it's I don't know it's just weak you know it's just, I don't know it shouldn't it should have been Punk and Cena then you can have The Rock and Undertaker because that wouldn't have been that good not as good as Punk and Undertaker anyway uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's WWE. I don't really watch it anymore, but I do watch it occasionally. I watch Superstars every week, um, but I fast forward for most of it. I'm just looking for um, Joe Hennig, otherwise known as Michael McGillicuddy. Uh, it's Mr. Perfect's dad. Uh, Mr. Perfect's son, sorry. <laughs> it's Mr. Perfect's son. I'm sure most of you already know that. If you don't, you do now. Um, but yeah, that's that's about all I watch really. I watch some of Raw. If if there's someone on it, I'm like Dolph Ziggler. Um, see what I would have done at WrestleMania is have Dolph come out before the match even started, and so I want my title match. And then you know, it probably would have been. I've not seen that. It might have been alright, but I think. Ziggler and Del Rio would have been better than Swagger and Del Rio. But then it was good uh, the next night on Raw. You know, when... Because... Uh, Alberto had the leg thing. His ankle or his knee or whatever it was. I think it was his knee. And Ziggler. That was, that was good. I like the way that happened, really. Um, it's just an extra thing for Raw, isn't it? But yeah... Um, Back to TNA. Back to TNA. See, uh, TNA still got potential. TNA could turn it around within a week, within a show. They could turn it around, but they won't because you've got too many dickheads there. Oh man, I, I 
don't like Dixie Carter anymore. I used to think Dix Dixie Carter was quite cool to some extent because she was basically letting people get on with it. You know, she was letting Jeff Jarrett and his dad and, you know, the wrestlers just kind of doing their own thing and getting on with it. Now it's like, oh, you've got to do this and you're going to leave and you're going to lose the belt and he's going to win it. And, you know, it's just... It's too much politics in TNA now, and that's that's what will destroy a wrestling company. Is when you've got too many egos. People like Hulk Hogan. But don't get me wrong. Yeah, he's good on the mic. He's good as a mouthpiece, but just the fact that he's involved in the main event. I know he's not wrestling, but he's still there. You know, and it's. It shouldn't be about you anymore. It isn't about you anymore. You know? I just can't stand it. It's it's really difficult to watch these days. You know? It's it's it sucks because <laughs> like when I first started watching TNA it was really good. It was. I was loving TNA. I was into it. I was enjoying it. I was like, finally a decent wrestling product, you know. And then they get rid of all of these guys, man. Jay Lethal, Brian Kendrick, the Abyss character. Why get rid of that? That was golden. That was such a good character that was evolving. It was getting better, the Abyss character. And then they just go, oh no, let's, let's get rid of that. And you bring in this... He does it well, but it's nothing on the Abyss character. <sighs> There's a lot of different things that's wrong with TNA. I watch it... I watched TNA for Bobby Roode, Eric Young, Austin Aries, Samoa Joe, Gail Kim. I like Gail Kim, she's a good wrestler. Madison Rain when she's about. Daniels, Kazarian. And I do like uh, Chavo and Hernandez. I always struggle to say his name. Um, but yeah, I do like those two. I didn't um, to begin with, but I kind of like them now. I don't think that tag team's going to last much longer, though. But there you go. Um, it's a bit, bit stupid, really. You know. That it isn't going to last much longer. Why not? It's a good tag team. They've got good chemistry. It was a bit rocky to begin with, but then they was getting better and they are better and <laughs> the chemistry's there, so I don't know. I just heard something that they uh, they might be splitting up soon. Right, well, that's a long video, so I think I'm going to end it there. If you've got any questions, if you've got any comments, please, please leave a comment. And I will respond to it. Um, if you've got a really deep, if, like, if I get enough comments with questions and just general stuff, I'll make another video talking about wrestling. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.